great question. So users are able to create a lot of their own components within the system. So actually looking here at the dashboard view in the system, there's a new button up here that as long as the user has security to do so, they're able to click new and they can create their own personal dashboards. And users are actually able to add their own custom views to and their own custom charts to. So, you know, as a user, I might be interested in creating a view of data in the system that would have all of my customers in the state of Florida, for example. And so I could build that out as a view and I could actually add that as a component to my dashboard. And so I'm not even limited to just the views or charts that the organization has built, but I can build those custom components just with a drag and drop and filtering interface to be able to set those up. So if we come in here and we say, all right, I want a three by two dashboard here, or we're able to have some other different layouts, but let's just go ahead and choose that one. Then I'm actually able to just pick and choose the components that I want to add to my dashboard. And then once that dashboard is set up and built, I'm actually then able to take that personal dashboard and share it with other users. So if it would be a dashboard that's valuable to the rest of my sales team, I can actually just click the share button and make that accessible to the other users so they don't have to go back and recreate the wheel. So we could call this Tyler's dashboard. We could come in here and we could say, I want to add a list of records to it. So we're going to add my active accounts. And then next to that, I want to add a chart. And we want to see the active accounts by industry. Being able to add Power BI tiles, so I can click the Power BI button here. And maybe what I'm interested in seeing is from the sales analytics dashboard here, there we go. Maybe I'm interested in seeing top accounts by revenue, because this is really an accounts dashboard for me. And so I can go ahead and click OK. And now when I save this dashboard, anytime I come back into Dynamics 365, it's going to show up here as under the My Dashboards list so that I can pull this up. And then like I mentioned before, I can click the Share Dashboard button and be able to share that with Sarah or Maher or anyone else who might want to consume that information. So great question. Thanks for asking.